Happy Saturday! Woo woo! Who's ready for Sunday? Or maybe who's ready for Saturday night? Right? I know who it is. Hold on. I got a friend. Miriam! <laughs> so Miriam is super brave and she's coming over to try a totally new dish with me. Um, pad Thai. Pad Thai. Um, squash, spaghetti squash noodles with garlic the uh, pad thai sauce. <laughs> so the reason it's hard is because there wasn't just one, sorry, my eye, like honestly. Um, my, my eye, I just really, so the reason that this is hard is because there wasn't one recipe that actually made sense for everything that I, that's important to me that I wanted to share with Miriam. So for me, it was really important that it's low glycemic, that it is um, really nourishing and it has a lot of fiber, it's gonna stretch our bellies. Um, so kind of piecemeal this together and you're gonna watch a little bit of messiness, which is a challenge for me and I know is a challenge for my, I know we don't look like twins, like, <laughs> like fraternal twins, right? Like, or identical twins, we look like fraternal, maybe we're, <laughs> Would be really you know, interesting know. fraternal twins. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But but we are very similar, and so perfection is a thing we enjoy. I know, right? Who yeah. saw? So we're just gonna get messy. So um, also, you, Miriam, you've been doing a few little things here and there around the town, right? Oh, you know, just a few. Just a few. Not really. <laughs> She's really amazing. She's super creative. Um, has a voice that I would love for people to know. So, what have you been doing? Oh my goodness, wow. Um, well, recently a friend of mine invited me on to, to guest post on her blog, uh -huh. and I told her no, told her no, and before, she just she kept just saying, I know, she just kept saying, so what date do you want your deadline, this date or that date? And I'm just like, this date, I'm like, what am I doing? And then yeah. she's like, okay, so um, what, what are you going to, and I'm like, yes, before I knew it. And you, so just, and you decided to I post. Did it. Yeah. That's so great. What so, did you, what was on? It was on idealism in my perspective, so huh. I know. So idealism. that was one thing. Yes. Thank oh my gosh. Yeah. Show me. Sounds yummy. Oh, Catherine. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm so excited to show you. So we're going to start with, we're going to start with the base. So what are, if you only have a few minutes when you're coming home and you want to make pad thai, um, don't. That's for number one. But if you got a little bit of time, if you got like 10 minutes, then do. And you can either buy a rotisserie chicken at Publix or Whole Foods and tear it up. Or if you had chicken from like, let's say a night before where we, when you were meal prepping, you've got that already ready to go. So I'm gonna take you over here. Miriam, I'm gonna talk to you, talk you through this. Okay, so we have, oops, if you can see it. Um, we have a pan that I cooked the chicken in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just, um, actually, I forgot, you saw guys just saw, I totally forgot to turn the pan on <laughs> earlier. So it's gonna take just a second. So let's talk about the sauce instead. <laughs> let's do that, okay? So um, here, you be the model. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's what this is. So a pad thai sauce looks, they said it needed chili, chili sauce. Um, I don't have chili sauce and I didn't know that until I got home. So what I did was I made chili sauce with sriracha and red peppers. <laughs> so that's what our chili sauce is going to be made of. Secondarily, it said fish sauce. Guess who doesn't have fish sauce? This girl. Guess who thought she did? This girl. Right? It's just so dumb. Right. So dumb. You're not so, dumb. You're not so dumb. instead we did coconut aminos. So that's what's part there's, and you'll see, I'll put a recipe in here. So coconut aminos, chili sauce-ish situation, and then it said ketchup. Ketchup is full of sugar and it's not great for your body. So Walden Farms is a great alternative. It's not really ketchup. Like if you try to put it on fries, it's not awesome, <laughs> but it does have a flavor of ketchup. And so that's really helpful. Um, and then let's see, let's mix that up. I think she mixed all of that up with a little bit of water. Oh, and also Swerve. So if you haven't seen Swerve, um, instead of actually having traditional sugar, which really spikes the insulin, uh, Swerve is erythritol, which is a fermented corn, and it extracts the things that actually spike your insulin level and make you feel bad. So it's a great alternative. So there's a tablespoon of that in there. And one thing, one other thing, I thought I had PB2. I have chocolate PB2. <laughs> Who did not prepare? Kim, Abby, and Ellie are watching. Can you say hi to my nieces? Hi, Abby. Hi, hi Ellie. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. All right, so we're gonna add in what looks like, what does that look like, you guys? It looks like a tablespoon, like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. We're gonna add that in there, however however beautiful. By the way, can we just say how gorgeous 
I know she's gonna get totally uncomfortable with me saying this. She is like a gazelle. She's so beautiful. She's just like a prince than a mini princess. It's amazing. Seriously. Okay, this so then we're gonna on. put it a little bit okay. on the heat over here. And we'll which melt that. Yeah, okay. And we'll melt that down. Okay. okay, the next thing we're gonna do is now that this is heated up a little bit, I'm just gonna, we're gonna start with the shallots, which I found shallots. I had to like, I had to go through Whole Foods to find them, but, but I found them. Okay, so then, this is so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do a different thing with the camera. Still not great, it's so not great. Abby said you're beautiful, sissy. I love you, Abby. Abby is my niece and Ellie is my niece and my sister Kim is watching them and so she FaceTimed me right before we started and they told, told them that I was gonna be on doing this. So I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Okay, so Aunt Cece's gonna put chicken in with that. Thank you, yes, yes. She's doing it with two hands and I love it. So. That is about two shallots and about uh, eight ounces of chicken. Um, and because it's gonna be for both of us, it's gonna be about four ounces of chicken and we're gonna have a little bit of extra protein in another place for those of you who are on the five and one. Um, as far as the chili, the pad thai sauce, um, the one thing you'd have to think about is the almond butter, or not almond butter, almond, like, um, yeah, almond butter. Um, just, you know, a tablespoon or two, it acts as a condiment, so. Anyway, all right, so she is, and Miriam? Third. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. Do you want to, hold on, I'm going to give you a spoon. This is so, you're going to get so dizzy. It's going to be unfortunate for sure. Okay. Why don't you try it and see how it tastes? Hold on. I'm going to get her a real reaction. Mm. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Is it really good? Oh my gosh. Ah, I did so many substitutes. That's crazy. Oh. That's good. I also, also, this lighting is so awful. Okay. So now the chicken has already been cooked through, so really it's just about the shallots getting a little bit fragrant. Um, and so now we're gonna add um, some broccoli. Yep, we add some broccoli in there. And then we're gonna add some radishes. Like, now talking about all these radishes, I went a little overboard <laughs> as far as the radishes are concerned. It just says sprinkling really. Like that. I think that's great. Okay. I think otherwise it just gets excessive. And then I bought bok choy and I forgot until just now, which I saw it already not chopped up. So we're not going to use it tonight. We're going to use bean sprouts instead. So we're going to let this stuff cook down a little bit. Oh yeah. Here. I fight it, right? Yeah. I'm going to beat it. So is it good? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So what we're looking for is for the, oh my gosh, that lighting is so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't have great skin, but that is ridiculous. <laughs> let's, let's do it this way. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, Jason and hey, Allison. Have you guys made pad thai before? Do you guys have any tips? Any tips would be great. Um, if not, then I'll just film Marion. So what we're trying to do is see the broccoli and we're just trying to have it turn a really bright green and that'll let us know that it's kind of cooked through and ready for, um, for us to continue on with the stir fry portion of the program. <laughs> All right, and it looks really vibrant and pretty, right? Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to, this is going to be a tricky part. So if you will pull the chicken and stuff to the, here, we're gonna do the two things to the side. Okay. I'm gonna have you crack an egg. Oh. I know, super tricky. Are you on there? Is that showing you? Oh, uh, yeah. Crack. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, girl. And then just put it in my hand. It's totally fine. I don't care. No show. Yep. Shell no. <laughs> Shell no. It's great. <laughs> yes, girl. Shell no. Okay. So I'll put those into scramble. Yeah, no, wait for oh. it. It's okay. Okay. So what what I read was that for stir fry, you want to wait for the whites to kind of cook through, similar to like, I don't know, over like over medium, over. Yeah. Medium. Oh yeah, you can't let them go all the way through, right? Yeah. So it has to be sort of white. Again, we're just trying this right now. Um, yeah, no. Allison, you've never made it before? 
I don't know why I'm so surprised. I mean, I haven't never made it before, so like, why would why would you have? I don't know. All right, so, and I say so a whole bunch. I'm gonna try and stop that, but oh my gosh, my eye makeup is in tall. It's just all over the place. <laughs> it's from this morning from a photo shoot. I think that's probably good. And just like scramble it up, poke it in there, girl. Yes, go after it. And, yeah, just scramble it. The whole thing? Yep. The whole. No, I uh, do keep the kit into the bowl, okay. and then. And now, yeah, now mix it up. Oh. For some stir fry goodness. Okay, now I think, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna pour the sauce over it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's looking really good. Do you guys think it's looking really good? I don't cook, but I'm so loving this. I'm so glad. I, I seriously, this lighting, I'm gonna have to come back around again. I just can't, I can't see myself. It's too much. I can't, I can't, I can't even. Miriam, she's so clever. All right. So there's maybe an entire half a cup of pepper in there. So maybe, I don't know, Miriam might be dying. I just, I love it. Okay, love it. so now we're gonna take bean sprouts, which are here. I'm just gonna toss those in. Bean sprouts add extra volume and fiber and a, no flavor, honestly. Oh. They just become kind of part of the flavor that you that you do with everything. And then we're gonna add mm. perfect. We're gonna add the spaghetti squash. So if you want to know how to make spaghetti squash, you can totally find another I can't even meal somewhere in my feed somewhere. I'm sure I've made it before. <laughs> it's essentially cut it in half, hollow it out, and put it either in the microwave or the oven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, the microwave, I know, for 10 minutes, or the <laughs> oven for 40 to 50 minutes, depending upon the size of, it, size of it. So instead of doing traditional rice or noodles, I wanted to do something that would make our bellies feel really great, and that was spaghetti squash. So um, we made spaghetti squash. I'm just gonna just toss that around. I know, I know. Sorry. I did. I killed her. It's my bad. Sorry, sorry. It's totally my bad. No, I'm that's sorry. my bad. It's not your fault, girl. It's the heat. It's yeah. the heat. Don't feel, mind feel me. Feel the heat. Grossing out everyone. I'm no, so sorry. It's so <laughs> fine. All right. Um, oh, you know what I forgot? Huh. Hold on one second. I'm gonna. We said garlic noodles. So would you open this up and just take this spoon mm -hmm. and do a good heaping amount of garlic? <laughs> oh my gosh. Or or that fork. Either one. Or that. <laughs> more? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, I'm a okay. garlic lover. I like garlic. Yep, okay, so then just go ahead and mix that up with it. <laughs> That's great. Yep. <laughs> What's everyone getting up? Amber, what have you got planned for Saturday night? Anything fun? No? Maybe something? Get thumbs up. Do you guys... Do you guys like what you see? And I don't, well, who actually, that's, that's totally, it's totally on me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So oh, that looks... we keep mixing it up. It looks, it looks like legit pad thai, y'all. It's crazy. So the only thing that we're going to do next, actually, normally I think I would put it into a, like a bowl, I think. I just got home from Tea town I don't know what that means. Town, but that's okay. All right, so we're just gonna plate it. Put a little bit on a plate. Let's just do the one. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Right, and that's spaghetti squash and chicken and bean sprouts and just deliciousness. It's so good. Um, we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna give to Miriam. All right. A little bit oh. of a garnish. So, yes, girl, just sprinkle it. Look how pretty. And then a little bit of peanut. I forgot the peanuts. Marianne brought them. She was so kind. <laughs> My contribution. Okay. And now, I'll put do you want to take the same fork? Yeah. Okay, just wipe that off. Because yeah. <laughs> you're a champ. All right. Oh, me? Yeah, let's Yay. see it. Let's see how it goes. Does it need anything? Does it need salt or anything? No, really? 
Shut up. It's such a it's such a little kitchen sink dish. That's oh so exciting. God. All right, piece of chicken. Okay, piece of chicken. Oh. She made noises. <laughs> she made happy noises. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're good. You're All welcome. Right. You're welcome for whoever's gonna get this recipe. <laughs> Apparently, this is great. I'm excited to eat it too. All right, if you have any ideas or any cuisine that you'd be really interested in seeing, please message me or please put it in the chat. Actually, put it in the chat. That would be super helpful because I love trying new things and with new friends. Well, Miriam's not a new friend, but this is her first time over here because it's a new place. Um, and it's so fun to do this with you guys. So yeah, just let me know. All right, have a great night. Bye. Bye.